So yesterday, um, I was watching BFTB. Shout out to BFTB. Um, <laughs> hilarious live, man. Um, Batman was up there, and um, Bill Haney called in, and they were going at it back and forth, man. You know, so you know, in the past, Gary Russell and Devin Haney was supposed to fight, and it never happened. Um, Batman had said something that was weird though, because he said that they'd take 1.5 to fight Bud, but they won't take 1.5 to fight Devin. I, I never, I don't understand the, the 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 concept of that. I don't understand the logic. So, um, last night, BFTB, shout out, bro, because it looked like he may have, I'm not going to say for sure, but we don't know yet, he may have actually set up the fight between Gary Russell Jr. and Devin Haney, man. Um, I think the offer was 1.5. 1, 1 and, you know, you, you go back to a lot of Gary's interview. Gary said he'll whoop his ass. For the one five, I believe I heard him say that, and then for some reason, contracts were sent, and things never happened. Nothing happened out of it, right? So Bill Haney was on the phone, uh, was on the horn, was on the interview on the live yesterday with uh, Batman. He's like, "Listen, I put up the one point five, and also I put in the clause five hundred extra thousand for the winner, if Gary wins." He, put, he gave Gary another 500000 So that's $2 million, man. So we waiting to see what Gary Russell say if he takes those terms. Ain't no way, ain't no way in hell Gary should not take that, bro. Shit, I would have took the 1.5. Uh, Batman and them talking like, you know what I mean? They got money just coming out of all different type of situations. He's like, yo, they already made it. He, they good. He's, he's saying that they good. But, hey, yo, look, even if you are good, who ain't? Gonna take an extra 1.5 million, man. Give or take, we know taxes and all of that. You're not gonna come out with 1.5, but still, that's more than what you had before, though. Ain't nobody else really trying to holler at Gary Russell like that right now. So why not take the fight? If you win, bro, that's gonna shoot you up quite a bit. If you beat Devin, but um, he was supposed to fight his mandatory. Which was uh, Ray Vargas. I don't know exactly the date of that. I, I thought I did. I could have sworn he gave a date for that. I know when I went on Box Rec, when I first heard about it, I saw they did actually have a fight. They now was gone. I don't know what's going on with that. But, um, yeah. So, uh, he was supposed to get only, I think, a million to fight Vargas. So now he potentially could make two million. 1.5 to 2 million to fight Devin Haney ain't bad, man. I mean, I know they wanted more, but he ain't been fighting nobody like that. So, I mean, can't really demand more. You ain't really been fighting that many folks like that. So, let's see what happens, man. Yo, look, if, if Gary take that 2 million, man, shout out to BFTB, bro. My motherfucking man, he made that happen. Gotta give credit. If that shit uh, falls through, that's... That's epic, bro. He made that he made that fight, fam. He did. Without them actually, you know, going to like their people and all of that and sitting down at a official table and all that. If he actually made that fight doing that, bro, salute to BFTB. I fuck with BFTB. I know a lot of people don't like dude, man. I, I fuck with him, dog. I fuck with him. But shout out to that, man. Let, let me know what you think about a potential fight on the horizon between Devin the Dream Haney and Mr. Mr. Gary Russell Jr. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll see y'all later on the next one, man. Peace out.